Robert Halfen, you already sent us a statement, but quick reflections on the, on the uh, November statement. Well, it's really difficult for everybody, and I think the government understands that because what they've got to do is to really go down three very difficult roads. The debt interest over the coming year will now be £120 billion. I think that's around £485 million a day. So by the time I finish one sentence, I think that's around £20 million. It's hard to believe these crazy figures. We have to get the debt down. Now, that isn't something like kind of uh, out in the air. If you don't get the debt down, interest rates won't come down. If interest rates don't come down, that means people's mortgages continue to go up, and that help hurts people with the cost of living. People's loans, uh, the rates they pay back, continue to go up. So they've done a lot to try and uh, make sure that we bear down pressure on interest rates and, of course, inflation. This is the second thing the government got to do is spend money on essential public services which is exactly what they've done. You know, schools are going to get 2.3 billion extra this year and next year. The health service is getting many billions of pounds. And the third thing that the government did in the budget was to try and help people with the cost of living. So benefits increasing with line inflation, vulnerable families on top of that getting 900 pounds extra, the triple lot for pensioners, making sure that they aren't hit by this, are, are, are being helped. Uh, as well, so there's a lot of billions and billions of pounds that are going to go on all oh, roofs. But you can't please everybody. Some people are saying the pensioners are getting too much. Wealthy pensioners, you know, triple lock, etc., etc. There's a considerable amount are, are, are quite wealthy. Uh, who aren't you pleasing? Well, of course, it's difficult for everyone because everyone's cost of living is going up because energy bills are going up. So they've got to spend billions and billions of pounds trying to reduce people's energy bills. Um, that is not easy. And just imagine if we didn't have those billions of pounds to reduce energy bills, or we didn't have to spend billions of pounds using net, we could spend billions of pounds more on uh, cutting taxes and, and helping people. But you go around Harlow, pensioners are not wealthy. They, they struggle along with everybody else. And I, I meet pensioners all the time. That's why the government had to make sure that the pensions, triple lot, which by the way, the Conservative government introduced, it wasn't Labour, we introduced that which meant that earnings will go up in, in line with inflation or, or, or earnings. And the government have kept that pledge because we need to help those who struggle the most. But they've also given a lot of money to uh, vulnerable people as well. Um, but you're not... Just confuse something. You, you like Kwasi Kwarteng's budget and you like Jeremy Hunt's budget. Can you, can you like both of them? Do you not have well, to make a decision? If you, very clear, I never said... Um, with Quasi's budget that I was happy that they took money, uh, they gave money to the rich. I've never, I never ever said that once. What I was talking about was the measures for the lower paid, on the, particularly on the energy guarantee. And I absolutely supported that. What um, I did ask for though was that it was more focused. The government are keeping that energy guarantee. So uh, billions and billions, I think it's roughly 60 billion pounds. I mean, these are crazy sums. Who even knows what six billion is, let alone 60 billion. Uh, that money's got to come from somewhere. That, of course, comes from everybody's taxes. So, but they're using so around £60 million to help everybody with their, with their energy bills. And what I did with that budget, I was highlighting those kind of measures. Um, and I think you, if you go back to your Harley, you, you will see that. But I was very clear, very clear in the media, in the national media, all over the BBC, um, and uh, Sky Television, and in, in an article for the Times, I was very unhappy with the direction of the government on other measures of the previous government, this trust. I supported Rishi Sunak in the summer, as you know, and he came to Harlow because I felt that he was going to cut the debt. We cut it. If we do that, we cut interest, we cut the rates, we cut inflation. And so I am supportive of the budget. It's not perfect. There are problems. You know, people are struggling. I completely get it. But if we, you know, if the budget works and we bears down inflation, bears down on interest rates, and everybody will benefit because um, the cost of living will be reduced. Um, do you keep one eye on the opinion polls? Because you just that gap has opened up twenty plus up to thirty, and it's not moving, is it? But I'm not surprised. So first of all, there was the mess up of the previous government. And I oppose that. It's on record on opposing that. Um, and so people are unhappy with that. The government, there were some mistakes made. Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt have done everything possible to try and uh, uh, correct that, but also deal with the fallout of the pandemic. We spent 400 billion on COVID, 
furlough scheme. We had to do that, otherwise there would have been destitution. But that money has to be paid back. So of course, because people are struggling, COVID, uh, because of COVID money, because of the war in Ukraine that has pushed up energy prices, interest rates have gone up, not just in England, by the way, all over the world. Look at the United States, they've gone up even higher than us. So of course people are struggling and, and they're not happy and I completely understand that. But I think if they look at the budget in the round, they will see that the government spent billions of pounds trying to cut people's energy bills, trying to cut the cost of living and spending money on essential public services like schools and hospitals. Can I just take you switch to the, your constituency? Um, we've been out and about the last couple of days. Is there a theme, for example, you went to Petri Mead, and as we talk about schools, Gerald's has been highly praised as part of Net Academies by Ofsted. You're at Countryside um, seeing the um, the work of, of apprentices. apprentices. Um, you couldn't make the see the apprentices at Octopus Energy the other day because you, obviously you're in Parliament, but you were keen to see them. Um, and you were seeing the cadets to say, is there almost a theme when you're out and about in, the, in your constituency? Well, I love community events. I do them all the time. I'm doing four uh, today. In fact, later on, I have to go and um, help turning on the Christmas lights in Old Harlem. And I won't, you're right, I was at the cadets, but everyone who knows me, my first speech was on about ever in Parliament 2010 was about education and skills. And I, everything I try to do has been to try and promote education skills as a ladder of opportunity because I'm convinced that young people and workers, not just young people, young people and workers, if they get education, if they get the skills, if they can retrain, they will climb that ladder. The top of that ladder is job security and prosperity and everything I do in Harlow is try and support um, schools, uh, the college, um, the, the, the STEM Academy, uh, the Advanced Manufacturing Centre and I love meeting apprentices and others because it's a great example. You know, to, at the um, countryside event yesterday, um, the building company with NHBC, they were building new houses. These are apprentices, not just on level three, they're doing higher apprentices, level four, five and six, really tough really tough apprentice. I find it hard to do those. The, the, the technical knowledge you have to have is extraordinary. And to see those Harlow apprentices yesterday, to me, I just think that is an example of aspiration and achievement to everything I believe in. So I do a lot with schools, um, and I know that you're Harlow in, in, just in universities as well. So of course, um, I, in my new role as Minister for Skills and University, I'm doing a lot to transport universities to, in like all the students who go to Anglia Ruskin um, or other or Essex University and, and other universities around the country.